millions of people struggle with uric acid and oxalate buildup in their kidneys. High levels of these things can lead to serious problems both in your joints and kidneys. In the joints, high uric acid levels can lead to gout, a painful condition caused by sharp crystal-like deposits. These crystals can also form in the kidneys, creating painful kidney stones. Studies also show a possible link between oxalate kidney stones and chronic kidney disease. Your kidneys must function normally so they can detoxify your body with these harmful substances. Similarly, understanding what causes them is important to keep them under control. Uric acid levels can rise due to foods high in purines, while gut health and dietary choices can also affect oxalate levels. By addressing the root causes, any detox efforts you do will become more effective and long-lasting. In this video, we're going to deep dive into how to detoxify your kidneys and get rid of uric acid and oxalate buildup. We'll explore safe and effective ways to help your kidneys lower your uric acid and oxalate levels and prevent these harmful stones from forming. Number 1. High Oxalate Foods Oxalates are naturally occurring compounds found in many plants. While not completely unhealthy, excessive oxalate intake might increase the risk of developing kidney stones. Even some healthy foods can be high in oxalates. For example, spinach, almonds, peanuts, even sweet potatoes, and chocolate. These are all delicious and nutritious, but they're also relatively high in oxalates. But that doesn't mean you need to eliminate them, but it's something to consider, especially if you're prone to kidney stones. Building on the challenge of oxalate-rich healthy foods, studies from 2020 suggest that foods with high fat content can further increase oxalate levels in your gut. This happens because when fat binds with calcium, it leaves more oxalate free and available for absorption. Normally, calcium would bind with oxalate, preventing it from reaching the kidneys in a free form. However, with less calcium available, oxalate might remain free and potentially contribute to stone formation. Moreover, certain gut issues like celiac disease, Crohn's disease, or irritable bowel syndrome can also increase your risk of developing oxalate stones. This happens because a damaged gut lining may have difficulty absorbing dietary fats properly. With impaired fat absorption, there's less calcium available to bind with oxalate, potentially leading to higher levels reaching the kidneys and increasing the risk of stone formation. Fortunately, there are ways to reduce the risk of oxalate stones, even if you're consuming oxalate-rich foods or following a high-fat diet. A 2015 study published in the Journal of Urology has shown that consuming enough calcium alongside oxalate-rich meals can effectively reduce urinary oxalate levels. This research found a 20% reduction in oxalate levels in participants who consumed 800 mg of calcium daily with high oxalate meals compared to those who didn't take calcium. Since average calcium binds with oxalate in the gut, preventing it from reaching the kidneys, this strategy can be very helpful. Number 2. High Sugar Intake Excess sugar intake might be a serious problem for kidney health. Consistently high blood sugar can happen in diabetes or high insulin resistance and can seriously damage the kidneys over time. This damage is linked to the overconsumption of sugary drinks, processed foods, and refined carbohydrates. Studies have shown a concerning link between high sugar intake and an alarming 83% increase in the risk of chronic kidney disease. One reason behind that is when your blood sugar remains high for extended periods, it can damage the tiny filters within your kidneys. These filters are essential for removing waste products from your blood. Over time, this damage can lead to chronic kidney disease. Interestingly, the ketogenic diet, which is known for being high in fat and very low in carbs, might benefit kidney health. This is mainly because when your body enters ketosis due to the restricted carb intake, it starts producing ketones as an alternative energy source. These ketones are like a backup energy source for your body, similar to how sugar is used for energy. 
but the difference is that they don't cause the same damaging effects on your kidneys as excess sugar. Therefore, the keto diet's ability to shift the body's primary fuel source from sugar to fat holds promise for promoting kidney health and potentially managing uric acid and oxalate levels. While research suggests some benefits, it's important to note that the keto diet's impact on uric acid and oxalate, specifically, is still being studied. Number 3. High Salt Intake The use of extra salt in your diet might pose a significant threat to your kidney's health as it affects both uric acid and oxalate levels. High sodium intake can lead to high blood pressure, a major risk factor for chronic kidney disease. A 2018 study in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology has shown a concerning link where individuals with high blood pressure were significantly more likely to develop chronic kidney disease. This shows the importance of taking salts in moderate amounts to protect your kidneys. You need to be careful about how much salt you take daily. First, it can lead to high blood pressure as discussed previously. Second, all that extra salt forces your kidneys to work overtime flushing out fluids, potentially causing damage over time. This extra workload can be especially harmful if you already have existing kidney problems. On top of that, high salt intake can increase your risk of pseudogout, a type of arthritis caused by calcium crystal buildup in the joints. The extra salt can make your kidneys leave more calcium in your urine, which can then form these painful crystals. Fortunately, you can neutralize some of these negative effects by adding more potassium-rich foods to your diet. Potassium helps your body flush out excess sodium through urine. This can help ease some of the strain on your kidneys caused by high salt intake. While potassium is generally beneficial for kidney health, it's important to be mindful if you have advanced kidney disease. High potassium levels can worsen symptoms in some cases. Always consult your doctor before making significant changes to your diet. Number 4. High Protein Intake Generally, protein is crucial for many bodily functions, like for building muscles and tissues, and even for the production of DNA and genetic material in your cells. But if you consume it more than your body needs, it can affect your uric acid levels. This is mainly because our bodies break down protein into chemicals called purines. Purines are natural substances present in many foods, but when they're broken down, they create uric acid. Normally, your kidneys filter this uric acid out, but if you have a lot of purines from a high-protein diet, it can make your kidneys struggle. A study in 2003 showed a link between high-protein diets and increased uric acid excretion. Moreover, when you eat a lot of protein, especially animal protein that's high in purines, your body breaks it down and creates more uric acid. Normally, your kidneys remove this extra uric acid, but if your body makes too much of it, uric acid crystals can build up in your joints, causing sudden and intense pain resulting in gout. Here are some high-protein foods that you need to take moderately. Red meat, which is mostly beef and lamb, and organ meats like liver, kidney, and shellfish, including shrimp, lobster, and scallops. Interestingly, some research suggests that the source of protein might be more important than the amount itself. A study published in 2020 found that people who ate more plant-based protein had a lower risk of gout compared to those who consumed more animal protein. So it might be a better idea to lean on plant-based options like beans, lentils, and tofu and enjoy animal protein in moderation. This can help you manage your uric acid levels and keep your body overall healthy. Number 5. Obesity Carrying extra weight puts a strain on your entire body, including your kidneys. The more you weigh, the more they have to work overtime to process all your blood and waste products. Over time, this extra workload can weaken your kidneys. Weak kidneys have less ability to filter out uric acid. When your kidneys struggle, uric acid can build up even faster. This might cause more gout attacks, 
as your body can't keep up with the extra uric acid from protein breakdown. So maintaining a healthy weight helps your kidneys function optimally and reduces your risk of gout by keeping uric acid levels in check. A 2016 study found a strong link between obesity and chronic kidney disease. Another study showed that people who were obese were more likely to have high uric acid levels, which can then lead to gout. In the end, to keep your uric acid levels in check, even if you're overweight, focus on lean protein and water, and limit sugary drinks, processed foods, and pure and rich foods like organic meats and certain seafood. Now let's talk about the things that may help lower the uric acid and oxalate levels. Number one, phytonutrients. Phytonutrients are the compounds naturally present in plants that give them their color, flavor, and even some potential to fight many chronic diseases. Microgreens, especially those grown in soil, are high in phytonutrients. Research shows they can have 20 to 100 times more phytonutrients than their fully grown counterparts. When you add these phytonutrients to your diet, they might support your immune system as they have anti-inflammatory properties. These tiny plants contain sulforaphane, flavonoids, carotenoids, and chlorophyll. All these substances have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. So they can protect your body, including your kidneys, from free radical damage and reduce inflammation in the kidneys. As a result, these microgreens can potentially help maintain healthy kidneys, which is crucial for filtering uric acid. So by supporting kidney function, microgreens might indirectly contribute to managing uric acid levels. So if you're looking for a way to boost your kidney health, consider adding some microgreens to your diet. Broccoli, beet, radish, and irregular microgreens are some good sources of phytonutrients. Number two, citrate. Citrate is a natural compound found in citrus fruits like lemons, limes, and oranges. Citrate might help prevent kidney stone formation. Studies show that people with kidney stones often have low levels of citrate. A 2015 study published in the Urology Journal found that people who increase their citrate intake by drinking lemon juice daily significantly reduce their risk of recurrent calcium oxalate stones. Interestingly, studies show that citrate prevents calcium salts from clumping together and forming crystals. This can reduce your risk of having new stones forming. Some studies even show that citrate can help dissolve existing stones by breaking them apart. Another benefit is that citrate can help maintain the pH of your urine, making it less acidic. This is important because highly acidic urine can create an environment where uric acid crystals can easily form, leading to uric acid stones. Additionally, citrate binds with calcium in your urine. By binding to calcium, citrate reduces the amount of free calcium, making it less likely to form crystals and cause stones. On top of that, citrate binds with heavy metals and helps remove them through your urine. This eases the burden on your kidneys and keeps them functioning properly. Number three, natural allopurinol. The natural allopurinol is present in tart cherries. It works by reducing the production of uric acid in your body in the first place. This means there's less uric acid for your kidneys to deal with overall. As a result, it reduces the burden on the kidneys because, with less uric acid floating around, your kidneys won't have to work as hard to filter it out. This can help them function more efficiently and keep their uric acid levels healthy. A 2012 study found that people who drank tart cherry juice daily had lower blood uric acid levels than those who didn't. This is further evidence that cherries can help reduce the overall burden of uric acid on your body and kidneys. But despite all that promising evidence, remember that these foods are just to help you with your treatment or to prevent kidney problems if you're healthy. This video is for educational purposes only. So if you already have chronic kidney disease or other similar issues, be sure to ask your doctor before making any significant changes to your diet. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and share it with everyone you care about.
Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.